In today's video, I'm gonna show you John and Cora's really cool bathroom mod they did to the Travado K. So let's go. What is going on YouTube? Greetings from Honeymoon Beach, Florida. John and Cora turned me on to this place. I'm really excited to explore it. But first, they're gonna show me the really cool mods they've done to their bathroom here on the K. So without further ado, I'll let John take you through the bathroom because Cora doesn't want to be on camera anymore. Hello everyone, my name is John and I'm a fellow Travado owner like Kevin. And uh, we bought this Travado in April of this year. And just like Kevin, we realized that there were uh, certain issues with the vehicle that we wanted to take care of as soon as we bought it. And the main problem that we realized we like to go to the beach and we like to be able to carry our beach stuff with us. We live here in Florida, so we needed a place to put our chairs, umbrellas, and other stuff. If you've seen the original concept of this van, you'll see that they had drawers over here and a small little door here uh, as a closet space. So what I did was I eliminated the drawers all, all completely. So we put this door here, uh, took out the drawers, we put the door here so we could get things from in and out from this area. And I put a bigger door up here so we can access stuff from this side in. And we made a cutout over here. I made a cutout, put a, a nice little molding around it. And as you can see, we could fit two rocking chairs in here, a beach umbrella, table, a mat, umbrella. We got an outside stove here, a toolbox, and many other items that you could think of that we have in here. And, uh, and then we, we still are able to use the outside door to put the, uh, the hoses that we need for the hookups and stuff. And then I keep my electrical uh, stuff in the bottom. And we, and we have another stove, an emergency stove also down here. This has been huge for us because it, it, it solved a lot of problems and issues that we had with taking our stuff with us to the beach. Now we'll transition to the bathroom area here where just like Kevin, we found the bathroom unusable in the original state that it came in. So the first thing that we had to address was the curtain issue. So as you, as you can see, we put a, a tracking around the top uh, how to cut it to size and we put these shower curtains up here and we have these magnetic <coughs> holders up here that hold the curtains that hold the curtains up <clears throat> and it's a two-part it's a two-part uh curtain and we have a little little magnets on the bottom to keep the weight down on this side we still got to put on this side and then the curtain closes up around like this Closes up around around the ends and around this area like this. And now you have a sealed compartment inside. And you have all the elbow room. We put uh, we could put magnets against the door here to keep this uh, from hitting your elbows and stuff. Why did you why did you go with two why did you go with two curtains instead of one? I've seen a lot of people that just have one. Because it's just easier to stow it, you know? It's easier to stow it. Um, with one, you have to go all the way around, you know? And this is easier to stow back in place. You just put this back on the hooks here. Uh, and it's out of your way. You can tug it here without the wind. Obviously, without the wind, it's not going to blow all over the place. But you can, uh, you can stow this right back where it was and clamp it back with these uh, magnetic clamps here and voila now you can use your bathroom you see so that's really cool i also see that you got like a bunch of little other like knickknack type of things in here can you explain those because i think these, they're really ingenious these are bicycle bottle holders and my wife came up with this idea she bought the three bottle holders and i she told me just put them in there somehow so i put them in there we have one two three and then we have we have a body shampoo a, ba a body soap shampoo and hand hand soap so that was really nice so with that uh, uh and the curtain it solved a lot of issues with so, the bathroom so how do you keep your trash can from going all over the place well another <laughs> oh, hey, gonna jump in. Yay. <laughs> no she she came up with the idea of putting a magnet here and then i took a piece of used uh, metal and put it underneath there glued it in and voila it stays there <laughs> and we have a squeegee here we use a squeegee sometimes we're bull docking on a place with a, with a bad angle and the water doesn't drain out properly so we use a squeegee to squeegee out the water into the drain 
if we're not leveled. So we keep that in here like oh, that's that. that's really smart. Yeah. All right, so Good. what do you got going on over here? I noticed you got like a different setup. Yes, this is a piece of plywood that uh, I cut to size, painted it, sealed it, and attached it to the window here. We don't need the window. So I also needed an area to have a paper towel so when I'm using the sink, I can have, you know, a paper towel handy to dry my hands and stuff. We have wet towels up here, paper towels, and then other stuff for the bathroom here, the, the porta pack and other items here. And then Cora, my wife, came up with another idea of putting a, tra a, a trash uh, uh, bucket here uh, for the waste. And this has worked very well for us. We used up all the space. I, I just forgot to uh, add that we, we were having a hard time opening this door from the inside. We couldn't get our hands in there. So I came up with this contraption that I actually stole from somebody on Facebook, but <laughs> I, I figured it out myself. And then just, you just pull the lever here and then opens up the door. How often do you go out camping? Our lifestyle is basically, we like to travel and visit sites. So we go out and um, we do boondocking and we do camp, we do go to campgrounds, but we like to use our vehicle 100%. We like using our own bathroom. We're not a fan of going into other bathrooms and showers and stuff like that. We like to keep our, our bathroom nice and clean and we know that we use it and, and that's it. So we just had to make it that it was uh, uh, practical to use the bathroom. So if you guys go and camp for a week, uh -huh. how often are you using that shower? Oh, we use it every day. Every single day? Every Both day. of you take a shower every single day? Yes, yes, yes. That's very cool. Yes, every day. Very cool. Yeah. We made this very functional for us. I mention all the time that this bathroom is not functional, but John and Cora figured out a way to take the K-Bath and make it functional, which I think is really cool. They've also done some pretty unique things to the inside of this van, and they're gracious enough to let me come into their home and check it out, so I'll show you some of those things as well. As far as the kitchen area and the side door, my wife loves to cook and of course I like to eat. <laughs> so another thing that I, uh, I knew I had to do as soon as I bought this vehicle was, um, was I had to make this into a usable, you know, a chef kitchen-like setup where we had enough tables and stuff for prepping. Um, so the first thing I did was I added this lagoon table right here. This table actually even comes out this way um, and it goes in inward like that. And uh, we could just put it right here and rest it here. We added another refrigerator uh, to the unit. And uh, this gives us extra, extra room to uh, put stuff in there. Okay. It's actually a freezer. So now that's connected to the, uh, eight, uh, <clears throat> we could connect that to the DC so we don't have to uh, put the inverter on. So this is another, another upgrade we did. Now my wife put these things here to put sh uh, our shoes and stuff. We don't go in and out of this area other than to put groceries in here. How do you get in and out of your van? We use the front doors. To me, uh, the, the entrance is to the front. Then we leave our shoes up in the front and just go in from there. And that's, that's when we go into our little house. Okay. <laughs> you know? So we also added these drawers here. <laughs> she put these magnets and we got more drawer space for kitchen items. This stays on permanently. We also have another lagoon table. It's a portable table. We, we actually, if you look at the design of this thing, we actually took the original pole that, uh, that Chavado had, had for, the, for the table that came with the vehicle and I cut it so it can have the taper that goes into the slot. And then I, I actually went to an auto shop, uh, auto parts and got a muffler piece and attached it to that and I'm gonna I'm gonna have it weld now to be so it can be permanent and then I attach the lagoon to it with clamps and now I can just put this in the hole put the table on top and I can move it to the uh, the back part of the, ve the vehicle also so um, another thing that we that we did differently also is that to convert this into a full queen-size bed we just made the process a little easier we actually put the table under the mattress we took out the the pieces underneath underneath it and uh, and we actually put we actually put a, a, a screen over the frollies here so it doesn't get caught up with the, with the cushions and all that. So this just makes it easier to set up the bed every night. And uh, we just, you know, it just makes it easier. We put, some, we put some magnets up here so we can set up our phones every night. We have on that side and we have a bottle holder here also. You can see that. Okay, and we have that on both uh, sides. What is the uh, stuff that's over the window? Now this, we decided to just cover this up. We put a, a piece of uh, insulation board. It's kind of like, it's soft, but it's rigid. Okay. And we put it there and then we put this design over it. 
and basically we like to sit here and watch TV so we didn't want to ruin the uh, the the shades so we could so we could set up a, a nice sitting area here like this and we can just sit here across across and just lay, lean back on it and watch TV and talking about the TV we just replaced this with a LG we had to make an adjustment with the bracket in the back uh, it wasn't standard but this is an LG smart TV we use a, a hotspot and it goes right into the hotspot we can see YouTube and all the other internet channels and stuff we tile the back of this and we put a dehumidifier here to keep the humidity we live in Florida <laughs> And we keep that on all the time. Uh, a towel rack here, uh, a little coffee maker here that stays permanently. I mean, it doesn't yeah, move around. Permanent. All our utensils here, and then we added the spice racks. Like I said, this is a, a chef's I, this is I, a chef's kiss, kitchen. And I carry everything in here. And eight hours for breakfast, and the seafood, and I have all that in here. All right, so that was awesome. Thank you so much, John and Cora, for letting us inside your home, showing us the different mods you've done. I'm sure you're gonna give people a lot of great ideas. Thank you very much. For the broken heart, lame the weak to afraid to start. The dreams that only came to pass them by. Here's to the broken man who stood in ward when he heard you can't. It shows me that faith is more than sight.